ESL. And you are alive. What is going on, people? We are back. BSL 7. Today, solo casting. Rapid is not able to make it. And for those of you that were not here for last week's group, highly recommend those games. Those were insanity, especially Casper versus DN Max and SPX versus Avi Love. But this week, we've got groups E and F. And we've got the hero of NA, Jay Yoon, in group F. And we're actually going to start with group F today. It is going to be Jay Yoon, TTF. And I have to look, who are the other two players in this list? We've got Crossy, who is a up and coming Korean American. And we've got Lancer X. So it's a pretty stacked group. We've got every single race, Protoss, a Terran, and two Zergs. And of course, I'm rooting for the NA players to get out because there's not really any NA players left. Dragon, I think is the sole remaining NA player. And he got here through last season BSL. So our first game today is actually going to be Group F. It's going to be Jayun versus TTF. It's a Zerg versus Terran. Now Jayun, I have good experience with him. He's a very strong Zerg, very sneaky Zerg, likes to sneak three bases sometimes, but also mixes in a variety of styles. He can play Ultralisk, he can play Lurker, he can play Mutas, very deadly. And TTF, I've played him on the ladder a few times. It's pretty damn good. He's a Russian Terran. Uh, TVT, of course, a little different than Terran versus Zerg, so not quite too sure of his Terran versus Zerg style, but I'm excited to see how far he can go. We know that SPX has made it into the round of 16, so TTF looking to become the second Russian to make it to the round of 16. Our first map is going to be Power Bond. We're already in the game. We've already saw a lot of epic games on this map, so looking forward to it. So I'm ready to go. We can get this group started. All right, in the top right, we have the North American Hope. It is Jay Yoon. And in the bottom middle, we have another very strong Russian Terran. It is TTF. Now this map, I really like it. I talked about it last week. It's kind of a combination between Circuit Breakers and Rush Hour. Rush Hour was a old map, about 2005, and it was actually my favorite map. At the time, I was playing very seriously on West, and it was a Courage map, so I have a lot of experience on Rush Hour. And this is a three-player map with tons of money. Now, luckily this time, Jay Yoon is going to get his Overlord in the correct position. So he's going to see exactly what TTF is going for. And this is going to be pretty crucial on this map because all of, the, all, all of the positions you can wall off going for that Depot and Rax wall. And we see a lot of mech play, which is kind of trendy these days. Flash has kind of innovated it going for this really slick 10-30 timing with 1-1. One, one. Now we see TTF has not gone for the fast wall, but this is an extremely fast SCV scout. And because of this, he may be looking for this Overlord or it may be a proxy Rax, but really there's not a lot of buildable terrain in the center of the map, so I'm not too sure what this is going to be. It looks like it's just gonna be a fast scout to top right, and it's going to actually find Jay Yoon first. Now will this SCV get there in time to block the hatchery? Uh, it's just barely going to miss it, but still, he is going to find Jang Yoon very quickly. I am a little surprised that he scouted so fast. Maybe he's gotten rushed on this map quite a lot and he wants to have an instant reaction. Or he may just want a gas steal. Two hatch has been a very common style these days with Zerg, and a gas steal would be pretty brutal. Does not look like that's what he's going to go for. And behind this, we do not see a wall. It is just standard Rax. We don't see a gas in the main either, so we're not going to have any mech play. Just going to be standard expand. Now he sees that the pool went up a little bit late. Jayun, he is drone man. Wants to get out as many drones as possible, get his econ really going. We are, ooh, 2.5 hatch. Now versus Jay Yoon, this drone on the left side, we're gonna have to be very, we're gonna have to pay attention to this because it's already setting up that he wants to take this third base. 
And when I play versus Jay Yoon, I find this to be the hardest style to deal with. So he always gets up lurkers in time. And then all of a sudden you're facing three base Zerg with three gas. And there it is, there's the hatchery. And TTF, does he recognize that this is happening? Because if this was me, 230 gas, not really super abnormal. I would be skeptical if Zerg has the econ for a third hatch at this moment. So really TTF is probably not expecting this at all. And he's gonna get punished. Well, maybe he isn't because this is an extremely fast gas from him. He's reading this correctly. He's gonna rush gas. I think that this is going to be an academy. I, I assumed it was gonna be an academy, but it may just be five racks, which is kind of unusual when you're facing a gas timing like this. So we're gonna have to wait and see what's the reaction gonna be. What's this SV gonna build? Oh, nothing just yet. He's got the money. Whoa, wait, what? We've got delayed mech, actually. I'm completely thrown off. This is something you almost never see. It's very, it can get punished really easily by two hatch play, which is what we're seeing from Jayun. A big Ling flood can cripple your econ and then follow up with mutas. Now, Jayun went for a hybrid play. He's got the 2.5 hatch. There's the Hydrogen as expected. He wants to get this third hatch up protected with a few lurkers and then Terrence and oh SCV drilled to the mineral is gonna make it through these lings and up the ramp and he's gonna see the hydrogen possibly drone trying to deny it he's at least forced it behind the mineral lines can he oh it turned around he still doesn't have sight oh, so low I think that regardless if he sees it or not if he knows how Jayun plays, he should suspect that it is Hydra's. Now, I don't think he saw it, or if he did, it was he barely saw it. Now, not a really big issue because he's not going bio. He is just going into mech play. So he'll be able to go for something like a few vultures with speed. That would be my move if I was going up against this particular build and I had gotten gas. Vultures with speed, you just run past lurkers, shut down that drone line. And really, you're nullifying the extra econ from the Zerg. Now, what does Ju want to do as a follow-up? He's got gas that is natural, pretty standard. He may try and go into fast Queen's Nest. I don't think he sniffed out that TTF has gone for a delayed mech. It's really a style you almost never see. So he may not expect it at all. He doesn't have an Overlord into the main. The Vulture coming out is going to really be the first sign of him knowing that it's mech. And TTF is going for the speed on the Vultures. And he did suspect that there is a hidden third base. He sent an SCV to top left and he has found it. Now SCV or the Vulture did show itself, but the Lings missed it and the Vulture is gonna go to top left. Okay, now the Lings confirm that it is Vulture play. Uh, Jane trying to deny these Vultures, but speed's gonna kick in pretty soon. Armory's already done, already started plus one weapon. Now, this is going to be a long game because we see plus one weapon. Vulture getting into the third base, drone down. Really good job from TTF. Speed is kicked in. We need more drones can he get. One more drone. Okay, a couple drones going down, not a big loss, but he did confirm that lurkers aren't out. And actually, Jayun did rush the hive. It's already started, it's about 25% of the way done. Here comes some more vultures. Lings don't intercept them though, but Hydra's on the ramp would deny them anyways. So Jayun reading this exactly how he should. He knows that it's delayed mech. He's rushing into the Queen's Nest. We've seen a lot of timings lately. So Lurker Defiler Rush would shut down any timings. There's really nothing to deal with anything under Dark Swarm. Now TTF, he doesn't get, oh, he does get one Vulture into the main. He's gonna see that there was a Hive. Now what's his response gonna be? Cause he's already committed to three factories, four factories even with the starport. But this is actually gonna be an okay build from him because he did go for plus one weapon instead of plus one armor. When you see plus one armor, usually that's going to be a timing. But because he's gone plus one weapon, more than likely he's gonna sit. He's gonna go into vessels and power bond with so much available resources. You can get six bases so easily. If we look at the map, just going slightly to the left, and really not even moving very far to the north. You can get all of these bases, all six bases, mineral only, and five gas. That's crazy. 
Now, Jayun would still have access to about 10, but five base Terran, really, really deadly. And I like what TTF has done. He's laid a few mines on the left side of the map, denying at least the fourth base for now. Jayun powered extremely hard. Scan goes off, sees the Defiler mound. And Jayun's econ has not gotten ridiculous just yet. He has just started now to build macro hatches. So TTF can still go for a timing if he wants. Really don't think he's going to, but he could with plus one. He's building a drop, so he's really trying to keep Jayun in check. He's got his command center being built on the left side of his main. He's gonna float over there, then take the low ground and potentially the mineral only. So yeah, we're really setting up into a long game here. Really, neither player can deal a lot of damage right now. Vulture drop going to be headed to top right. Oh, no, it's actually going to go to top left. And I'm not too sure about this. Not that many drones here. Also, the Nidus is right there. He could Nidus them all out really easily. But pretty skimpy defense. It's one Hydra. Vultures really could get a lot of damage done if he doesn't catch this. Oh, he somehow avoided all the vision of the Overlords. Oh, no, he didn't. Jayun intercepting this, pushing it back. Really nicely done. Mines not going to get anything done. Vultures try to get in the mineral line. Nothing. No, one drone. Not a lot of damage, but not a big deal. TTF knows that Jayun is a macro monster. Just wants to keep him in line. There's that third command center. It is going to land. And this is going to be a pretty safe base. We've got a decent amount of tanks set up or built already. Plus one is done. Ooh, actually... Oh, there's... Okay, there's the second armory. TTF does have a second armory. I see that his first armory is upgrading plus one armor. Hopefully he gets that second one spinning because plus two is such a key breakpoint for Terran. Not just in Terran versus Protoss, but also Terran versus Zerg. It allows you to splash lings. 100% of the time, regardless of how much armor they have. The TTF, what does he want to do with his army? He's trying to push into Dark Swarm, but everybody knows even just one lurker under Dark Swarm can fend this off. So, real no opening there. He's got to be careful, can't lose these tanks. I mean, this is his entire tank count, it's just two. Almost go down. This is a really risky move because TTF, it's not like he has 10 factories. He's only got one add on. He's only got four, five factories in total. So every tank lost is a real big hindrance to his defense. If Jayun starts to get aggro, which he's going to in the next few minutes, Ultralist Cavern has started at mid left. Another macro hatch. His econs really started to kick in. If we look at his bank, 2,000 gas almost. He's got four base. And as a Terran, once Zerg's got four base, I'm feeling really sketchy of my position unless I've got three, four bases set up with a huge tank line. So TTF has got to be a little bit worried. Not right now, but in the next couple minutes. I really want to see a second add-on. He's got three gas. He needs to get his tank count up. Meanwhile, Jayun looking to finally put on some pressure. Just a couple lurkers, but Lings and the Filers in combination. Oh, the mines! Lurkers just barely out in front. Can they get taken out before they get resituated under the Dark Swarm? They do manage to get taken out. And now, huge exposure to the fourth base. Drone's gonna go down. Lurkers are really exposed too, but Lings trying to save the day on that ramp. I actually managed to push these vultures back. I thought that this was going to be devastating. Fourth base going up for TTF. He's really doing a good job to defend his bases, lay mines everywhere, something that I really try and do, but very difficult to accomplish. And he's going to match the four base econ of Jayun. Now he has double add-on. He's got six, seven factory going up. So TTF really in a good position. And Jayun's econ, sure, he's got a lot of gas, but the minerals are really lacking. He's got so many macro hatches at mid left. He's got two macro hatches back at his main. We're on nine base, but our econ, our mineral income, is really not there. And TT, this could all be because of TTF's constant harassment with these vultures just 
every single time he has any available vultures shutting down a mineral line doing a fantastic job this one's gonna get shut down too so annoying and ttf slowly creeping up in supply he's at a 130 two more minutes until he's gonna be maxed out and we're gonna have plus two kicking in in the next minute or so he's he's really gonna be hitting a really strong timing and I've also noticed he's slowly been building up that vessel count. I don't know where the vessel is, but I know that it is. he has been producing them constantly. This is not a good sign for Jane. And fourth base is set up for TTF. This is such a strong position. Vultures again. Everywhere I look, there's just vultures roaming all over the map. More mines being set up. This is just exactly what you should do as a Terran. Still, Jayun floating so much gas. He's got a lot of lurkers, but really not getting much done with them. Okay, oh, I see that Overlord's speed has kicked in now. This is something that is Jay Yoon exclusive. He loves to harass with just a Ling Lurker Defiler drop, even if it's just one Overlord, just to shut down mineral lines. But TTF has kept Jay Yoon in check that he may actually just move across the map and kill him before that even comes into play. Meanwhile, Jay Yoon going to try and take this fifth base. Vultures actually don't find it for now. Yoon does now have good econ at his fourth and third base, so now his econ's really going to start skyrocketing. Skyrocketing. So TTF, if he wants to get a killing move in, he needs to get in within the next minute or so, because this is when Yoon gets scary. He's got all of his tech. He's got one one. He's got four bases, ten hatch. Finally, the first few ultras have moved out, and the defilers really haven't died. Here comes a vessel to try and clear out a couple of those. Ooh, Jay Yoon. <laughs> he went from 80 supply all of a sudden up to 130, catching up big time. Up to 150 now. TTF, you're in trouble, man. We may have missed our window. Plus two did kick in. I'm surprised he didn't attack with it. You can see that he's trying to make a move with these tanks. Oh, TTF mi mi missing some macro. He's floating 4K, 1.5K. I don't know if you can do this versus Jay Yoon. Also, these tanks not able to bust through the defilers. And once these ultras come in, okay, a drop going to bottom at the natural. Defilers and two lurkers. Now what Jayun's gonna do here is draw the attention to the natural. And meanwhile, he's gonna bust out of the fourth base. Watch this. He's gonna shut down the mineral only. Also, here comes that drop. Two lurkers, defiler gets unloaded. Only one, but that's all you need. And now uh, all eyes on mid left. Another drop into the main, also gonna focus down some depots in the armory. And here he goes, mid left, there's that defiler, just use consume. Jayun's gonna break out right now. Where did all those tanks go? They all move back and here come the ultras. Fourth base and third base are exposed. Mines are really good, but are there enough? Oh, Jayun's just everywhere. Lurker is so annoying at the net, the main getting shut down. Defensive matrix into the third. Surprisingly, the tanks are gonna push them back. Now, will he go up to the fourth base? Damn, are well, these ultras just getting shredded by the tanks? But, does it matter? Zerg's econ hasn't gone unhindered. Here comes round two. Defiler mixed in this time. Just need a Dark Swarm. Where's the Dark Swarm? Oh, he gets it right on top of those tanks. And all these tanks are gonna fall. He's gonna trade all of his ultras, but this is four base Zerg. He doesn't care. Uh, an, er an eracer to the fourth base. <laughs> of Jayu not killing that many drones, but so much action everywhere that Lurker drop at the natural is still going on. Lurker drop in the main still going on. Another Dark Swarm there. Fourth base is gonna be denied. TTF does stabilize there, but his econ is in shambles. These three tanks in the main can't even deal with two single Lurkers. Armory's gonna go down even. It's plus two armor, not a huge deal. At least it's not plus three weapon, but another big ultra attack going to the third base. Jayu wants to end this. Here he comes. I don't see any Dark Swarm, but it doesn't matter. There's only four tanks. More links streaming to the mineral only. TTF's trying to expand all over the place, but he's too spread out. 
Jayun closing the supply clap. All the key units of TTF going down, all the tanks. I think he's done it. He's just too big at this point. Mineral only got shut down. Fifth base, sixth base gone, gone down. Still, oh, that lurker at the natural 20 kills. GG. So TTF is gonna fall. He looked like he was in a good position though. But that's what happens when you play versus Jayun. Once his econ gets going, he's just everywhere, man. So TTF, maybe next time if he goes for that mech play, maybe you want to go for a timing because clearly versus Jayun, when you let him get going, you are in big time trouble. But wow, those lurkers drops. I mean, you would think like, it's just two units, man. Can't Terran deal with it? No. They're, they're so hard to kill, freaking Dark Swarm. Ugh, painful.